welcome to Monday. Um, you're probably wondering why am I wearing all of these like um, winter clothes. It's because it's winter and it's probably a little bit cold. And some of you are probably watching this video from in bed and you're like, oh, I just want to stay cozy, don't want to get out um, on this cold winter morning. Well, I'm here dressed like an old granddad with my winter tights nicely tucked in to tell you to get out of bed, <laughs> come out and let's do this workout. We've got a nice workout called Benjamin Button that will hopefully, um, you know, get you from feeling old and grumpy to young and cack fit. So let's get at it. Um, throw away some of these winter clothes as we go along. We're going to start with a warm up of two rounds um, of 10 step overs, 10 groiners, um, 10 lunges, and then 10 Cossack squats. And that will hopefully get us in this like nice warm space where you can get at this Benjamin Button workout. Cool. Next thing gone. Um, so let's get into that warm up. We're gonna start um, off with some step overs. So imagine there's like an object next to you that's about knee height. You're gonna step your one leg over, open up that groin, step over it, and bring the other leg two, and that's one. And then this is two. Awesome. Once you've done that, you're gonna go down into a high plank, slowly like a granddad. Oh. And you're going to bring your one leg forward, like you would in a mountain climber, but you're gonna have this foot down flat. Then you're gonna turn other way. That's two. All the way up to you get to 10. More you start to feel less granddaddy and a little bit more warm. Um, and then we'll go into some uh, just regular old lunges. So you can either step back, just try to make sure that you're getting that stretch in the back foot and the back leg and that your knee's not kind of jutting forward over your toes. Cool, so you're gonna do 10 of those five each side. And then we are going to finish that off with some Cossack squats. So you're gonna go into that sort of sumo stance that's about to step out from your normal squat stance. You keep your torso nice and upright, so like big chest, you can use your arms up in front of you to help you maintain that. Come down into a squat, come up, and that's two. Cool. At this point, kind of, you know, ready to take a little bit more off. Get into that little stretch. Off goes the cardigan. I'm gonna go into a couch stretch, so we're gonna um, stretch our quads and do 30 seconds on each side. At this point, I probably shouldn't have thrown my coffee off because it's a nice time to sip it, but oh well, we're doing this. I'm gonna do 30 seconds on the left side, 30 seconds on the right side. Then once you're done with that, you're gonna go into your pigeon pose. See, scarf is even coming off by itself. So I just cast it off too. Um, get that figure of four in. Um, you wanna make sure that you're feeling that in your glutes, butt, boulder. Um, and if you've got the mobility, you can come all the way down there. Okay, so at this point, you're probably feeling nice and warm, feeling a bit more kind of cut loose, um, and are ready to get into the, the workout. So Benjamin Button is gonna be four rounds of three minutes of work, three minutes of rest. Um, in the three minutes of work, we're gonna start with a buy-in of 20 air squats, and then going to 30 double unders or 60 skips. And then that's gonna be followed by an AMRAP of 10 overhead lunges, um, and 10 um, double hand thrusters. So let's go through all of those movements. Starting with our air squats, um, just gonna be your kind of stock standard regular air squats. One thing that we're gonna pay attention to today is keeping our butts, these over here, um, very tight. And you know that your butts, your butts are tight um, when your knees aren't kind of caving in. So as you go down into your squat, you want to make sure that your knees are going in the same direction as your toes, and that will help keep your torso upright. So when that doesn't happen, your knees kind of collapse in and your torso stays down here. So to correct that, you tighten up, stay up. Cool. Once we're done with those, we're gonna go into our double unders. So you get your rope. I can just do your regular, oh, that's awkward, uh, regular double unders. Um, or you can do some uh, single unders with a higher jump and a long loop. So it's something like this. And if that is working and you're like, oh, this is boring, you can try then introducing some double unders in between those long singles. Try it out. You may 
get something new out of this. Cool, um, and then we're gonna get into our AMRAP of the overhead lunges. So our overhead lunges, just gonna get that overhead however you need to, keep your arm close to you. So very little gap between your arm and your ear. And then you're gonna keep your um, elbow locked out. Step forward to lunge or step back if you want to. And that's two. Cool, and then we're gonna do um, some double hand thrusters. So with the double hand thrusters, we're using a single object, two hands on that object, go down to that squat, keeping our butt tight, torso upright, stand up, lock out at the top, and then repeat. If you are using a dumbbell, you're gonna keep it in a front rack position, like you would with a bar. Go down, right torso, drive with those legs, and then lock out at the top. Cool. At this point, I bet you, your tights would have come out of your socks, and you would have got a nice workout, and feel that summer body coming on. You'll be good to have a great week. Do it.